it was either I was gonna change or I was gonna be, you know, if it wasn't for Fortis, I, I, I might be in the ground right now. Like, and I, I'm not playing about that. Julian was 10 years old when he began smoking marijuana. It was the summer before his fifth grade year. The beginning of a downward spiral. You know, uh, promethazine, codeine, whatever you may call it. Heroin, crack, I, cocaine, just a lot of things. And I, I would mix everything. There would be times I would spend the night at, at, at friend's house, but really I was passed out for a couple of days. And there were people thinking that I was dead. I, I would feel things like my heart would beat too fast. And I, I think I, I would literally feel it. <laughs> and it felt like it was coming out of my chest and it hurt physically. It, it hurt me, but it was better than dealing with whatever I had going on at the time. And with the addiction, there came criminal activities and truancy. We, we had money, drugs, and girls, and that's all we needed, and guns to defend ourselves. To me, it was a business. I had it to where I had older dudes selling the stuff that I gave them. That's just how it literally was, and I was in 10th grade. I, look, I was looking in the mirror and just literally looking at myself like, hey, I want to change, I, but I, I don't know how. The life that I'm in, the things that I'm doing, I, I don't know anything else. I need help. It was then that Julian and his mother reached out to Galena Park ISD for support. And Julian would give me phone calls on a daily basis, multiple times a day, begging me, please, this is my only chance. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. A lot of saying and reassuring that I, I was going to go, I was willing to go and I, I was going to fulfill my promise I had made to do something with this opportunity. Julian took his fresh start seriously, and while it was difficult, he cut all ties to his former life as he entered HCDE's Fortis Academy. Fortis is home. It's where so many of our students feel safe. So many of them feel like they can be themselves. They get the love, attention, they get the ability to be free and express themselves. A man who destroys oneself rather than who is beaten by a stronger opponent will always be shameful. <laughs> They'll make sure that everyone's involved and it's, it's like a little family. When someone did get in trouble, it was less about the discipline and more let's talk, see what we can do to change that. They're really good at trying to create that relationship. They're dedicated to their job and I can respect that. After school and everything, is, you'd always go back to, to either your home, <laughs> where maybe that same environment is, and where I lived, there were people all around me that knew me because of what I was doing. And uh, it was hard, it was real hard. I, I would get calls all the time. Last summer, the drug cravings and lack of support were overwhelming, and he had a relapse. When he returned to Fortis, he courageously began to seek help towards his sobriety. We would walk, we would talk. If he would, you know, start feeling sick, eventually he would start, you know, trying to eat a little bit. And so that really developed a sense of trust. He felt like he could trust me. I felt like, you know, I can, I can trust him. And not only did Julian get well, but he used his experience to help with and counsel other students. And as graduation drew closer, HCDE's records management department brought Julian on board. And now, he's one of HCDE's newest full-time employees. Julian's a very, very hard worker. Having a job here with us in records is really going to truly help him. So, you know, as adults, we have to continue teaching, mostly encouraging him to keep going. Every employee here is trying to make sure he stays on the right track. Uh, he's a excellent kid. I like coming here every day. Everyone's just so helpful. I, I remember my first couple days here. They, As soon as I figured out I'm riding a bike an hour and a half, almost two hours to get to work, they gave me money to take the bus and, and give me rides home. And for them to just, you know, open arms and welcome me, it's a blessing. And then graduation, a day Julian thought he might never see. There was a special ceremony at Fortis. And the day he and his family dreamed of. Fortis Academy for him was something very 
special and something that changed his life. I know that he's going to be a, a great person and believe it or not, he wants to come back here one day and be a recovery coach. I, I love this school. I just I love everything about it and it helped me and I know it could change someone else. It could change and save someone else's life. And I'm wearing this badge now. <laughs> Harris County, <laughs> why your dreams come true.